Morning. It's Miss Nita with the Tom Peace Garden. And Miss Panda is off playing. That's what she does. You come outside, she's got to go, you know, track everything down and make sure nothing's trying to get mama. All right, having said that, looks like most of everything made it through okay the storm last night. Yay! Um, and again, last night was just the rain. Um, having said that, remember where I talked about the plastic and the water pulling down into it? Pulling the plastic down? Yeah, it did it there. Did it here a little, but not too bad, because I think the, the wood helped push it off. So anyway, I need to fix this. There's Miss Panda up here! She's coming to make sure everything's good. A um, little bit of water pedal there, you know. Little things I just need to fix today. Nothing crazy. Um, and then I also turn the... There you go. Turn the water back on in here. Um, what I did, oops, I'm making a mess. The, uh, the hose actually won't reach the last one, so I, uh, I took water out of these two with the, uh, yeah, with my garden, my, my, my watering bucket. Anyway, took water out of these two, went ahead and filled that one up. So this side is full. Yes, Panda's playing in it. Um, need to go ahead and get these full today. So, you know, turn the water back on, get them full. Um, that's probably all I'm going to do outside today. Ouch. I just smacked my head. I know. I know. Um, I do need to rinse this bucket out because this is the one that had the powdery mildew in it. Um, that way once I get it rinsed out, I can um, put it inside and go ahead and fill it up too. Um, you know, get the water off of those. I'm not supposed to get any more rain in that way. Um, it'll hold it down for this. It's no longer a frost. It's a freeze and it's going to be a hard freeze. I know I'm like, crap. So not only do I have to harvest all the peppers and I'm going to do that tomorrow, not today. Um, I'm going to have to harvest all the tomatoes, whether they're green or not. Um, they will not survive a hard freeze in plastic. It's just, it's not going to work. So, let me get busy for a few minutes, get the water out of the plastic, tighten up my hair where I just bumped my head and knocked it loose, and get busy. Talk to you in a few. Alright, water's off everything. Even the, you know, water's off, plastic's been recovered, and you know, pieces of logs stuck back down for right now. You can see where water dumped and put out some soil. It's just there, no way for me to get around that. Um, the rainwater that caught in the black barrel that was here, I used to wash it off. It's now in there, ready for me to fill it. Um, and if you look, that's the only black one I have. The rest are all like, that one's white. You can kind of see, but the bottom of that one is blue. Um, that's why I use the black plastic bags. Um, they're both inside and outside. Um, what that does is black absorbs heat. It really does to include with the light. So as the, um, I don't know, how do I say it? As the, as the light comes through the hoop tunnel, the, uh, it lights up the black, which absorbs the heat, which makes the water get warmer. Does that make sense? And then because they're plastic, they're insul it's like, ha it's insulated. So it's like having a, an ice chest. Once the water's warm, it stays warmer longer. That's the thought process anyway. All right, having said that, I got stuff to do. I don't get to spend all day in the garden here. So, looks like all the patches held up well. You know, and you can see there's water that came in because of the split that's here, but again, that heat rises, it'll catch here. And yeah, I can't spend all day in the garden today. Just can't. All right, I'll be back a little later to turn that off or to switch barrels. So I'll talk to you later. All right, well, I'm back in Garden 3. You can see by my shadow, the sun has come out. 
you know, lack of clouds might be a better thing. Um, so it's going to get a little warm, which is awesome. I'm ground drying out, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to take the A-frames down. Um, this one is leaning bad. Um, again, 1x4s are not what you build with, and I only did it for temporary shade for the elderberry because it was so hot. Um, so I'm going to take these two down, and I'm going to take the far one down. Um, and then I will probably use my big hooks like this right there. I don't know if you can see it well. Here at the corner. There it is. Um, big hooks. Um, but I will take those out where they're at and then just kind of make sure that the A-frame that I'm leaving up that's got the passion vine on it um, so it stays up sturdy, you know, instead of the, the whole functioning thing. So that's what I'm going to do just because it is warm. The ground is drying out enough where I should be able to take it down easily, hopefully, before it falls down and messes up the net, you know, my wire, electric wire fencing. This stuff's expensive, I'm not trying to mess it up. All right, so anyway, let me get busy. That's kind of the last look, you know, double on that side. Leave that one, take that one down. That's the plan. Talk to you in a few. Oh, look, no A-frames. It's the A-frame for the passion vine and then no A-frames behind that. Whew, all righty then. I know, yay, it's all down and I'm still alive. No one worried me, it was a little it was a little wonky, but I got it down. Didn't bust my electric fencing. Did bust a couple of branches. That's okay. We're getting ready to go into fall. They'll produce new branches next year. Um, on the A-frame, you can see where like, the blue one was always there. It was there when the A-frame was put up to help pull it left to right when the other A-frame was on the other side. Um, but I've added like the white one there that actually pulls it back up the hill, and there's another one kind of tied off of there that pulls it back up the hill. Um, I did that because it's wanting to lean downhill. You know, everybody wants to go downhill. It's so much more fun. So, uh, yeah. Now, having said that, I'm going to go get Panda. I had to put her in the house. Um, when I was working with the A-frame, I needed to have my attention 100% focused on it. She decided she was going to go over to the field and chase baby cows. And they're screaming and crying and the mama cows are all in an uproar because the baby cows are screaming. I can't have Panda chasing the neighbor's cows. You know, especially when I'm trying to do something that was, you know, wonky wood. That uh, I needed to pay attention to what I was doing to keep, take it down and take it down safe. So she got put up, got in trouble. Um, since all the wood is down now and, and that's all secured. the um, I'm going to go ahead and let her out. And then take all the wood back up to the work workshop. You know, that way she'll hang with me. And if she doesn't, she will go on leash. We did this last year, too. Put her brick out here and put her on leash in the shade. She didn't like that. And then she remembered, that's right, I'm not supposed to mess with the cows. I get it. She's a blue healer. It's instinct. Doesn't matter. No cows. Anyway, some of the wood you can tell is still really straight, really awesome. Others you can tell like that piece there is not really straight. That's heavily bent and warped. Um, so the ones that are still really straight, I'm still going to be able to use those in the workshop. So again, I'm going to go get her and I'm going to put some wood away. And uh, yeah, It'll be awesome. All right, I'll talk to you later. Supervisor approved. And yes, Panda's been a very good girl. Your mommy's girlfriend, huh? She's ignoring me now. She will. She's still a little mad at me for locking her in the house. But she stayed with me. I opened the door and told her she could come out to the garden. And she came out to the garden. And she's been within 10 feet of me the entire time. That's okay. All of that stuff was down. She was in no danger. She's not chasing cows. Life is awesome. All right, so what do we do? Again, all that stuff is down. Two longest pieces are now over here. Going end to end across the A-frames that were here. You can see it there. A little piece of wood. It goes all the way down. Now this one wasn't too bad, kind of. There was that large puddle here from where the water went down in between the PVC pipes. And um, with the board here now, does that make sense? It won't do that, it'll run, the water will shut off. Same thing over here. It puddled a little, not as much as down there, but it won't puddle at all now, does that make sense? Large board, it's there. Oh, yes, all right, what are we gonna do? I don't know, I just, I don't know. 
part of me is like, cover the tomatoes. Um, and I say that because it was really warm in there when I took the plastic off. Um, but it's not freezing, and it wasn't freezing last night. Tomatoes will not take a freeze, and we're going to freeze. We're going to have a hard freeze. We've never had a hard freeze this early. Now, again, I've only lived here for three years, so I could just be talking out my butt. But, but yeah, exactly. But um, do I really want to do the effort to try and continue to wrap that in plastic? And the answer is no. I should take it apart and harvest all the tomatoes, because if they freeze, I lose all of them. Um, if I harvest them all even green, then we see how many I can ripen under, I have some grow lamps that will, you know, imitate natural sun. So just so you know, she's up leaning up against my leg. Does that make sense? And she does that when she wants me to pay attention to her. She wants me to tell her, Pandy, such a good girl, such so. a good friend, yes, your mama's good friend. Yes, she is. And she, we've done this two or three times because she doesn't like it when I'm angry with her. I don't like it when she chases the neighbor's cows. So, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to put that piece of plastic in the hoop tunnel for right now. And, and call it a day in here. All right, in the workshop. Um, this is all the wood that does not have screws and stuff in it. I need to go ahead and put it away. Um, the stuff up there still has screws in it that I need to de-screw so I can also put it away. Um, having said that, I need to clean the workshop. I have absolutely no room in here to set up the ladder so I can put this stuff, you know, up here on the, the loft. Um, what does that mean? It means to start with this corner. has to get cleaned up, if that makes sense. And then these here, if I decide I'm going to store hoses in them or whatever, does that make sense? Those become a project, and I know that, so they need to just kind of go up on this wall. Um, same thing with the pieces of wood that are here. Um, that's what I'm going to use to make the screen cover so I can shift the dirt out of the area to fill in the last raised bed. Um, just, that's what that's for. Anyway, to do that, I need to clean. Does that make sense? I need to clean this out of here. Does that make sense? And just sit there and move stuff until I get everything where I need it to go. So, that's what we're going to do. And then when I get enough space, I'll get these put up on the loft, you know, and just just keep working, especially the ones that are still good. Does that make sense? Because all the ones that are still good will end up being on that wall. All right, let me get busy. And Miss Pant and I will talk to you later. Gotta love a clean workshop. Um, yeah, I still have some boards sitting there. Um, those are the ones that had warped a little. And from the, uh, from being out on the A-frame and being that they were still, I'm going to say damp wood from where they had been outside and we had had that rain, um, I went ahead and laid them there with some stuff on them to see if I can get them to straighten out a little. Um, because they're not rotten. Since they didn't rot, um, you can look at the, you know, the bottom pieces there. That's not rot. It's gray, it's colored, but it's not rotten. So if they straighten... Even just a little, I'll still be able to use them. Otherwise, I already, already put all the other ones up there. You know, they put away. Clean this up. Those are my next two projects. It's the screen for getting, shifting the, sorting the dirt from the rocks. And then these are for hold hoses. Um, so I can store my hoses in the wintertime in the actual garden shed and actually have a place to put them and stack them up really well. You know, and keep them safe type thing. Um, otherwise, yeah, cleaned. You know, separated some stuff out. Didn't put the broom away. Get there in a minute. Um, all right. You have a great evening. Talk to you later.